Ratan Tata, one of the most celebrated Indian industrialist and Tata Group's former chairman has received the highest Australian civilian honor that is the Order of Australia. Image of Ratan Tata receiving the award was shared by Australian ambassador to India Barry O'Farrell on Twitter. The foreign diplomat shared pictures from the ceremony on and added that Tata's contribution have led to a lasting impact in the island nation. A few months ago, Ratan Tata was appointed as an honorary officer in the General Division of the Order of Australia due to his service to the Australia-India bilateral relationship. He particularly worked in sectors of trade, investment and philanthropy. The 85-year-old has battled for the 2022 India-Australia Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreements. While the Tata Consultancy Services TCS reputedly employs the biggest Australian workforce of any Indian firm with about 17,000 employees. Recently, Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates visited the Tata Sons chairman and chairperson of the Tata Group, Natranjan Chandrasekharan, in India and discussed charitable endeavours. Tata and Gates had a conversation about the enhancing their collaboration and teaming together for nutrition and health. Tata Group is India's multinational conglomerate headquartered in Mumbai and is known to Indians for generations. This company is also known and recognized worldwide. It has not merely reformulated many of the business's principle, but has also turned them upside down. With more than 900,000 employees working in different sectors of Tata Group, it is India's third largest employer after Indian Railways and Indian Defence Forces. Ratan Tata, a member of a prominent family of Indian industrialists and philanthropists, was educated at Cornell University in New York, where he earned a BS in architecture degree before returning to work in India. He gained experiences in a number of Tata Group businesses and was named the director in 1971 in one of them, the National Radio and Electronics Co. He joined Tata in 1961, where he worked on the shop's floor of Tata Steels. He later succeeded his uncle G. R. D. Tata's as chairman of Tata Sons in 1991. Under his tenure, the Tata Group acquired Jaguar, Land Rover and Chorus in an attempt to turn Tata from a largely India-centric group to a global business. Tata is also the largest philanthropist in the world, having donated around 60 to 65 percent of his income to charity. Ratan Tata has also received a couple of high-ranking civilian awards in India and overseas. He has been awarded Padma Vibhushan and Padma Bhushan, which is the second and third highest civilian award of the Republic of India. In October 2022, Tata received Seva Ratna from the RSS-affiliated Seva Bharti for his philanthropic pursuits. Tata Group's former chairman Ratan Tata is one of the most celebrated industrialists in India. His philanthropy and plans to cater the Indian market has always been appreciated by the citizens. Ratan Tata's ideology and ethics have made him quite popular on social media platforms and every Indian is proud of him. Well, if you like the information, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India News. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.